basically every Famiclone review nowadays uh, doesn't isn't really good. Really, they never have been. It's either people getting paid way too much money by a distributor to give the product a good name, or it's um, people who don't really understand what the console is. Not judging it as a Famiclone, judging it against something like on Xbox. And, you know, these are legitimate game consoles. They are fully capable of playing video games. There is not... But they shouldn't be judged on, like, premium criteria. They shouldn't be compared to the latest high-end, cutting-edge game consoles. Because there's something you can get for ten bucks at your local flea market. There is no uh, real reason for people to be reviewing them as harshly as they are. And so I decided, um, usually when, I'm, when I dislike something, I dislike the way something's being done, I'll take it into my own hands, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so welcome to Famiclone Reviews. Um, little channel where I'll be, where I'll be uh, reviewing and giving my actual legitimate opinions on Famiclones and other bootleg consoles, talking about them, talking about the good stuff about them, talking about the bad stuff about them, um, and then just generally leaving you to make your own informed decisions on whether to purchase them or not. Uh, so we're starting with one of the most ubiquitous Famiclones in the market. There are several versions of this. Uh, so, the review may differ slightly from the version that you are uh, wanting to buy. There are several, there, this is, like, the third or fourth in, like, in a very long revision of these. Very long series of revisions of these, all different runs, different features, different sets of games, but most of the points will stand for most versions of this console. Uh, we'll start by looking at the box. Uh, there's no real actual name for this. Uh, though most people were just refer to it as the Game Box or the Game Box Plus, because that's what a lot of uh, various boxes of this call it. Not this one. Uh, we have a few points on here. 501, 3.0-inch TFT LCD screen, and uh, 8 Classic. Again, can't argue with any of that. Um, if my camera would focus here, we would be... There you go. Plus, this is an upgraded model, so, you know, support external gamepad double against, which is very long-winded translation, presumably for it's got two players, which they are not wrong about, and they do give you the external gamepad as well. Um, on the back of the box here, we have the same thing. Um, on the bottom, there's nothing. Uh, most features, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, contents, they, these are all in here, in addition to a second controller that they don't mention. What color, I'm presuming one of these is meant to be marked. Uh, some of these are not printed super well. The blue one, I am assuming, if, you, if I look at the box really closely, it is a slightly different shade of blue, but you, you can't see it. And it's definitely not the shade of blue that is on the console, so I'm assuming just some variety of printing mishap happened. Um, a couple of things. Digital game system, 3.0 inch super wide LCD. The console is slim, portable, and trendy. It is slim, it is portable. I have put it in my pocket. Uh, trendy requires a bit more explanation. Uh, these things have been, sort of been going viral on social media as, like, budget game consoles, so... I'm assuming that's what they mean by trendy. Uh, digital multi-platform device can play on TV. Again, another sort of translation mishap, I'd say. Um, by multi-platform, they mean you can hook it up to multiple things. We'll talk about the, uh, TV playback and the quality of the picture output a bit later. Uh, the backlit function of the screen is your players can play everywhere. Again, can't argue with that. It does have a backlight, and the backlight is pretty good. Powerful rechargeable battery pack includes an AC adapter and a lithium-ion rechargeable battery, six hours of continuous gameplay. They do actually give you the uh, AC cable and the adapter. I've lost the contents of this box because I had to pull this out of storage to review it, and the rest of it is somewhere else. Um, but we'll talk about what is supposed to be inside of the box in a sec. Uh... I have, this has been going strong for over a year, turning it on and off. 
so I have no doubt that it can survive about six hours of continuous gameplay. Uh, they do give you an AC adapter and a mini USB cable. This thing, uh, we'll talk about that in a sec again. But they give you the cable and the AC adapter, so it's better than most modern phones currently. Um, on the top, you have this nice little diagram of where everything goes. Uh, inside of the box, the console would normally be packaged in a nice little plastic tray. You would get the console, a manual, a power cable and adapter, um, the second player controller here. Um, we'll talk about second. We'll talk about two-player play in a second, and uh, one of these cables, which is very tangled up, but doesn't come like this, obviously. Uh, it's got this little sort of uh, audio jack on the end, and then two of these little RCA cables you could plug into a TV. Uh, now's a good time to talk about the ports on this thing. On the console, we've got a little speaker, various buttons for doing various things, a uh, switch, this um, mini USB cable, which can be used for recharging the uh, rechargeable battery that is inside. It, also re it is also removable and replaceable. It's just a standard BL5C, so if you have multiple, you can swap them out like an old phone um, while you wait for the other one to charge. Um, AV cable, or a mini USB port on the back, which you can plug the second player controller into, as well as the charger, as I said before, and this little AV jack on the top, which the AV cable will plug nicely into. Um, talk about uh, AV playback now. Most TVs will have these ports. If yours does not, there is a high chance that it came with a little adapter thing that uh, you can plug into, like a sort of an audio jack or whatever on the back. Depending on your TV, you can bypass these cables entirely and just plug one end of a, a cable into this jack and the other end into the jack on your TV, though there's no guarantee that that will work. I have seen it work with some TVs. It does not work with all TVs. It does depend on the TV that you have. Uh, most TVs, you won't even need to worry about adapters or anything. Uh, it should just have these ports directly on it, especially if it's an older TV. Um, when you uh, plug the console, when you plug the cable, the AV cable in, the uh, co the screen and speaker of the console immediately turn off. Though, do not be worried; the light uh, should remain on, and that just means that it's switched to outputting through these. Uh, so, when you plug these into your TV, it should be good. If the console doesn't turn on, or the games start glitching, or do not uh, work entirely, that may mean that it is time to recharge the console. Uh, there is no specific low battery indicator, uh, but if the console stops working, or do starts behaving erratically, best ch best uh, best bet is that the uh, the the uh, the battery has died. Um, the console might not even work when you turn it on. Uh, it might arrive with a bit of a drained battery from factory testing and whatnot. So, if you are going to give this to someone, maybe charge it a bit before you, if you're going to give it as a present, maybe charge it a bit before you package it back up. I'd say about a day should be good. Um, just to ensure the battery is fully charged. Again, it doesn't tell you when the battery is charged. There's a light uh, that lights up, the power light lights up when the console is charging. And you can use the console while plugged into an AC adapter. So if the battery on your console dies, you can uh, plug it in and turn it on and play with it while it is charging. Um, without further... Uh, oh yeah, two-player mode. Uh, what happens when you plug this in, you, know, you might notice they don't give you a first-player controller. Uh, this serves as the first-player controller. This serves as... Oh, good. It's refrigerator time. Uh, this serves as the second-player controller. Um, if you plug this into a TV, again, this will be the first player controller, this will be the second player controller, or just the first player controller if you don't have anyone to play with. Uh, the picture output on the TV is fairly good, especially for RCA and whatnot. The hardware of this console is really only equipped to do that, so I've seen people complaining about the lack of HDMI, but to actually get this console to output an HD HDMI picture would require it to be a lot more expensive and a lot larger and a lot beefier and use up battery a lot faster. 
And let's be real, these are NES games. You're not you're not missing anything from crisp HD graphics. This is a Famiclone. Short for Famicom clone, Famicom being what the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System was called in Japan. So this runs NES games, some official ones, some uh, unofficial. These are all obviously unlicensed. Uh, I don't think Nintendo's having nightmares about this. Uh, the screen on mine is a bit scratched, if you can see that. Uh, that is just from my negligence. I had this in my pocket with some sharp stuff some keys and whatnot. Uh, that was not a good idea. Also, it is just this little plastic layer on top of the screen. This scratched screen itself works fine. Uh, this console is fairly robust. I feel like you'd need to probably intentionally damage it, too. Like, you wouldn't let your phone dangle out of your pocket about to fall out. So, uh, just don't do that to this console, either. Um, turning the console on. Here. Uh, we boot up to the menu. We've got a language selection. Here, we'll zoom in a bit. We're going to be talking about the games mainly. Don't mind the uh, flickering of the screen. That doesn't happen on a full battery. The battery looks to be a bit low right now. We've got a nice little Super Mario background. Uh, we can use these uh, arrow keys at the bottom to choose a language. Hit the start button. And uh, here we are on the game list. Uh, there are about, I'd say, 300-ish games before the repeats start. Uh, there's a volume knob, so you can turn the music down, turn it back up. Um, give you a short look at the game list here. You can pause and look at any of these. Yeah, there we go. Repeat start at about page 313. I'm just going to reset it, because that's quicker than going all the way back. Uh, you, again, you can view the menu in Chinese if you want to. Uh, it does not change the language of any of the games. Most of the games are in English, a couple are in Chinese. Uh, it, it really only changes the language of the... It really, really only changes the, the language of the menu that the games are on. Uh, obviously, tried and true... Uh, we'll start with Super Mario Brothers. We're not going through all 400 games, obviously. I just want to point out a few highlights. Uh, curiously, I'll use the uh, A button to start, which is the B button on this console, but it's in the place that the A button would normally be on a uh, Famicom controller, if I'm thinking right. Maybe I'm not thinking right. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the, the top two buttons are just Turbo A and B. It is, as far as I am aware, just Super Mario Brothers. We do have a bit of swapped duty cycle uh, whatnots on here, but you know, it's a fan clone. You can't. So the music will sound a bit odd, but again, it is a fan clone. You cannot. Oh. Turns out I'm bad at Mario no matter where I play. Anyways, back to uh, obviously we have Super Mario Brothers 3 as well. We'll talk about Mario 14 in a sec. It's Super Mario Brothers 3. There's not really much else to say about it. Try and get through this first level. I suck at it. Yep. And then I've run into a Goomba again. Alright, there we go. Yep. It's got Dr. Mario with, I think, all the copyrights removed. Yep. We've gotten rid of all the... It's Dr. Mario. One game I am reasonably good at. Fortunately, I can't see the colors of anything through the viewfinder, so. Um, too bad. I've lost focus a bit again. Oh, uh, no, it's even worse. It's pretty good, I'd say.
we are obviously zoomed in three times, so yeah, I'm going to do actually. What we can do is we can set this sort of on top of the box here and then zoom in there. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, you know, we have a uh, magic jewelry on here. It's a pretty good one. Pretty good uh, unlicensed NES game. hard to control this on a, uh, on a box that is moving around. I promise you I'm significantly better at stuff like this when holding it in my hand. Uh, we have, if I'm not mistaken, we have another Super Contra 7. Another good, another pretty good, I believe it is a back pour of Super Contra. Done by our friends at YJ. Or ESC, if you feel so inclined. And that's that. I'm not good at that. Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty good console, pretty good box. Uh, really just normal level, fam normal Famicom levels of being a bit odd and having a few strange games on it. It's got a pretty good game selection. It's got about uh, 300 or so games. Um, and then you've got 100 more for padding because I think 319 games in one doesn't sound nearly as good as 400 games in one, or whatever the number was. It was, it was like 319 or something. Uh, it does say 501 on here, uh, which makes me think that I might have the wrong box because I have two of these. Um, so I think probably the one that is 501 would say 501 on it, because I recall I have another box that says 401, but I can't find that one, so I'm using this one because it's basically the same box. Um, there we go. Uh, and, yeah, that is, um, external game pad. Pretty good. Pretty high quality. None of the buttons are labeled, but I believe they are in the same uh, order as they are on the actual console. Um, console itself, pretty good. Battery quality is pretty good. So, yeah, overall, pretty, pretty good console. If you were looking for, if you were, if you were looking to buy this, um, you know, check it out. I obviously suggest comparing it with other uh, fan clones to see which one suits you best. But very, uh, very good console overall. Oh, and now the fridge touched off.